Ничего не меняется, дорогие товарищи. Nothing ever changes here. Everything just lingers in one place. Governments come and go. Nothing good ever happens here. Life on the demarcation line in the frozen conflict zone. It's not the same as life on the border. It's not the same as life at war. On one side here. On one side there are people who have stayed in the occupied unrecognized territory. And on the other there are displaced people who for decades now have wandered from home to home and dreamt of returning home one day. Even if their home has long been destroyed by war. We spent four days on the demarcation line between Abkhazia and the other parts of Georgia. The conflict was frozen almost a quarter of the century ago. In fact, Russia controls all of separatist Abkhazia. So what are the percussions of this conflict today. We are at the start of the Anguri Bridge, the neutral territory on the demarcation line between Abkhazia and the other part of Georgia. This is the only place where you can cross the border. Every day around 1,000 people cross from one side to the other. They travel to the market at Zugdidi. Children who live in Abkhazia and go to school in Georgia also cross here. The crossing process at the checkpoint can take from 15 minutes to one hour. I got through straight away. I rarely go where I've never had any problems. This administrative boundary is for the Georgian contact line. It allows cars with Abhazian number plates to cross the other side and they don't require any other additional documentation from the residents of the self-proclaimed republics, which only Russia, Venezuela, Nicaragua and Nauru recognize. Abhazians can freely cross to the Georgian side. Just next to the police station here, there is a representative office of the Georgian Bank on Wheels, a trailer where Abhazian residents who possess Georgian passports can come and collect their pensions and other social payments. If there isn't a long queue straight after that, you cross the Angura Bridge. However, for the self-proclaimed government of Abkhazia, there is no line of separation of border. The Abkhazian side and Russian officials do not allow Georgian cars to cross. They require Georgians and foreigners to have visas. In March 2017, they closed two out of the four checkpoints. The Nabakia and Otobari checkpoints are no longer in operation. In fact, you can cross the administrative boundary and the Nguri bridge only at the village of Ruhi. You can also enter Abkhazia from the Russian territory at the checkpoint in Pso. For a quarter of a century now, Abkhazians and Russians have been trying to change the once circumstantial demarcation line to a border with all the features of a state line. Abkhazia starts at these fans. We are at the village of Hurcha on the administrative border between Abkhazia and the other part of Georgia. During the war in 1991-1992, this village was controlled by Abkhazia. After that, the two sides agreed that the village would become part of Georgia. Until recently, there was a checkpoint here, thanks to which the residents of the neighboring Abkhazian village could quickly enter Georgian-controlled territory. However, in 2007, 17, Abkhazia and Georgia decided to close the checkpoint. Now this place is deserted and nothing happens here. Things became difficult. We always lived together. We went there and back for funerals and weddings. I don't have any of the documents to go there. Those who do have them have to go all the way around to get to the other side. You need to have an Abkhazian passport. Who's going to let me through with a Georgian passport? 